We have a death to report tonight, one of the architects, maybe the principal architect of the Vietnam War. Robert S. McNamara was a man of extraordinary accomplishment. As head of the World Bank, he worked to eradicate hunger. He was called the conscience of the West. And before coming to Washington, he had modernized the Ford Motor Company, pulling the plug on the ill-fated Edsel. But all of it, everything, is overshadowed by Vietnam. I've asked Robert McNamara to assume the responsibilities of Secretary of Defense. For seven years under Presidents Kennedy and Johnson, McNamara directed the escalation of our commitment in Vietnam. He was so enmeshed in the conflict that by 1964, people were calling it McNamara's War. And our firepower advantage is immense. Why shouldn't we expect to achieve a military advantage? But in private, it's been learned, McNamara came to have serious doubts that the U.S. could win in Vietnam. After he expressed them to President Johnson, he was given the Medal of Freedom and shown the door. Indeed, McNamara spent the rest of his life agonizing over the war. It seemed to haunt him. We were wrong, terribly wrong. And we owe it to future generations to explain why. McNamara continued his public mea culpa in Errol Morris's Oscar-winning documentary, The Fog of War. Any military commander who is honest with himself or with those he's speaking to will admit that he has made mistakes in the application of military power. He's killed people unnecessarily, his own troops or other troops, through mistakes, through errors of judgment. Robert McNamara was 93 years old.